we are going to be working long division with this problem. So we're given the following cubic function. We're going to divide it by negative 5x minus 2. It's asking us to do this by long division, so I'm automatically going to rewrite it to long division over here on the right side. When you start this division process, you're essentially looking at the leading term of your divisor, and you're trying to divide it into your leading term of your dividend. So negative 5x goes into 15x cubed how many times? Or essentially what's really going on here is negative 5x times what will give me a 15x cubed? Well, negative 5 times a negative 3 will make it a positive 15. x times x squared will give me that x cubed. So I'm going to say it's going to go in negative 3x squared times. The next step after that is to take the negative 3x squared and multiply it to your entire divisor, the negative 5x minus 2. And when we do that, we get a positive 15x cubed plus 6x squared. We are going to write that down underneath here, fixed 15x cubed plus 6x squared, and we are going to subtract that. When we subtract that, 15x cubed minus 15x cubed cancels. Negative 19 minus 6x squared, right? Negative 19 minus the 6x squared gives us a negative 25x squared and drop down the rest of your function. Now are we going to divide all over again, negative 5x into negative 25x squared? Or again, negative 5x times what is going to give us a negative 25x squared? Well, we have a negative 5. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. x times x gives us x squared. So I'm going to say that this is going to go in 5x times, which means we're going to take 5x and multiply it by our divisor. When we do this, we get negative 25x squared minus 10x. And again, we are going to write that in over here so that we can subtract that. When we subtract negative 25 minus negative 25, keep in mind that is the double negative rule. That is going to cancel out. 10x minus negative 10x makes that a positive 20x. Drop down that plus 13. For our final division here, we're dividing negative 5x into 20x. So negative 5x times what gives us 20x? Well, negative 5 times negative 4 gives us a positive 20. We have an x. We only need an x, so we're good there. We're only going to multiply that by negative 4. So I'm going to put that minus 4 up here. And negative 4 times our divisor, well, that gives us 20x plus 8. We are going to subtract that 20x plus 8 and see what we get. When we do that subtraction, 20x minus 20x cancels. 13 minus 8 is a 5. So if we go back and we look at our quotient here, our quotient is this up here. So our solution is that plus our remainder. So our remainder was 5, so we just say plus 5 over our divisor of negative 5x minus 2. And this bit right over here, the net negative 3x squared plus 5x minus 4 plus our remainder, that is our solution.